Hey Flosstube, how are y'all doing today? My name is Sarah, I'm from Memphis, and this is my um, channel about cross stitch. Today is Monday, June 14th, 2021, and this is floss tube number five for me. So, um, welcome back. Uh, it's nice to um, see y'all if you've been here before, and nice to meet you if you haven't. Um, I didn't make the two week goal, <laughs> um, but I beat last month because I'm a few days under a month so um yeah I'm just gonna try every time and um see how that goes but uh three four-ish weeks seems like that's kind of what's working out and um anyway hope everybody's been doing well I have been busy um I did kind of lose a week because we went to the beach. Um, that's kind of what's been going on around here. My son finished school for the year. We headed down to the beach. We go to Florida um, for an annual trip every year with my family. This year, my family and my niece and my best friend and two of her kids went with us. So we had a wonderful time and we saw so much marine life. You would not believe. I have. We go the same time every year. We go to the same place every year. I have never seen what we saw. The very first morning we were there, my husband goes out at the balcony and it's early. It's like maybe right before six and he's like, come here, come here, come here, come here. And oh my gosh, so many stingrays, like schools and schools of stingrays. And they're all heading down the beach in their little schools, swimming, even like right up close to the edge of uh, flapping around. We had to get out of the water a few times just to kind of get out of their way. They were amazing. Um, I mean, like I'm talking like that first day we saw like 20 at least. And I know when you're right down there in it, you don't see them like you do when you're up on the balcony. So um, it was amazing. Apparently um, a sort of stingray, a devil ray, they actually breed around Panama City this time of year. So we just never saw them before and they, they were so, they were beautiful. Um, we also saw a few sharks, not quite as beautiful to us, but uh, one was kind of a smaller shark and the other one was kind of big and it was weird shaped. And I mean, honestly, I don't want to be an alarmist and be like, it was a hammerhead, but we were watching a show on sharks the other night and they were talking about how hammerheads like to swim at like a certain degree angle and they look kind of funny and actually their head even looks kind of funny when it comes like you can't always just recognize it like this because it's sideways and um they actually do come up like in those areas and I think that might have been a hammerhead that one day um and then um, we saw a dolphin too so it was it was amazing that's more marine life um usually we see some fish you know so that that was it was unbelievable really um we had a great time and um i did get to do some stitching on the beach my first time getting to do that i really really enjoyed that i had to take kind of a simple project down to the beach because um it was kind of hard to focus and there was sand it wasn't really as messy as i thought it was going to be i don't have any small children so besides the fact of people trying to push me in the water or flick stuff at me or just pick on me in general. Um, I didn't really have too much of a problem keeping everything nice and neat. I used those nice um, kind of plasticky totes you get from Amazon to keep everything nice. So, um, and my friend, Chi, that I got the kit together for last time, she really gave it a good try. I don't think she liked it that much. <laughs> because she kind of tried to give it away to my niece at one point. I think it was kind of a struggle for, um, and it was bright down there and it, you know, it's hard to see. And I don't know if it's necessarily her cup of tea, but she tried like at least for two or three days, she tried to work on hers a little bit. And, um, anyway, that was nice. Um, anything else that's been going on? You know, we got back in town and we've just been busy with regular life stuff. My son's had football practice. My daughter had a big birthday at 21 and my son's got an 18 coming up. So we've just been, you know, doing birthday stuff and, you know, just enjoying summer, enjoying not being in school and having to be somewhere at a certain time. Well, that's not true because we have people being football at like 6 30 in the morning every day but anyway we're enjoying summer so um let me get on to the stitching okay so just kind of like last month i have one finished this month all right you may remember the floral fairy by the stitchy princess from etsy um yeah, I've been working on her a little bit here and there, and I did take her to the beach with me, and I did finish her while I was there. She was a nice little balcony stitch for me. But here she is. 
She's pretty cute, isn't she? She turned out really well. So this is the Floral Fairy by the Stitchy Princess. I stitched her on 32 Count Hib Hibiscus by Brandy at Be Stitch Me. I stitched her using the Call for DMC with the exception of, you can see the blue and green threads. That is one thread. That is a variegated floss by Fiberlicious and it is called Jungle Cruise, which I purchased because of the name because I'm having Disney withdrawals and Jungle Cruise sounds like a great name. But didn't she turn out cute? Yeah, so I was working on her while we were at the beach. And oh, also something different I did, um, I don't know if you can see, maybe in the little flex in the wings um, and the head of the butterfly, um, I used like some petite treasure braid. You can see it in real life, but yeah, my niece really liked her while I was finishing her up and she's like, oh, I want her. So I need to find some sort of a special FFO and get her sent to her because I didn't really have any plans for her. I just wanted to stitch her because she was cute and I wanted to see how that floss turned out basically. So anyway, that is my finish, the floral fairy. Yeah. So I finished her while we were at the beach. And oh, one of the things I did do on the way to the beach, which I can't stitch in the car and it really stinks because um, I wish I could, you know, it would make my trip go so much faster since I don't drive, but I get car sick really easy. But what I was able to do is I was able to um, kit up a bunch of projects. So I had ordered my, I had ordered floss before and I put everything in the bags and then I was just sitting in the car and um, you know, winding them up and putting them I don't bobbinate but I do put them all on thread drops and so I had labeled them and everything and so that was super I mean that was a good way to spend my time stuck in the car since um my son couldn't find his headphones and had to borrow mine and then I couldn't watch floss tube like I planned on the whole way there because he needed my headphones and my husband wanted to listen to his music and so um I got some new headphones while we were down there so I could watch some floss tube on the way home because I was pretty behind but that was kind of fun catching up because I don't really get, usually get behind on floss tube, so I like had a lot of stuff to watch. So that was nice. All right, let's talk about my stitch alongs. So I do three stitch alongs, um, or I'm involved in, like I said, nefarious, right? I'm involved in three monthly stitch alongs where I really try to um, stay up with the parts that are released each month. And feeling pretty miserably right now, but you know. I'll, I'll get them caught back up. Um, the first one that I've been doing is the Dark Queen of the Sea by Autumn Lane Stitchery. So let's see. May release looked like this. And the last time you saw this beautiful lady, I had the, the coral done and her trident. The release for this month, for May, was this whole part of her tentacle, okay? And the June release that came out June 1st, was a continuation of these tentacles. Pretty awesome, right? Yeah, she's gonna look bad. She's gonna look bad. Uh, bad, like, bad to the bone, B-A, not bad, ugly bad. Okay, so she's gonna look good when we get her done. So let me just show you where I am. Um, my, my goal for the rest of this month is to get her caught up to where she needs to be. And that is a, a lofty goal because Julie, Kansas City girl in the Colorado world, not watching her watch her. She said she counted, and there's over like 5,000 stitches just in the May portion. So, you know, anyway, here we are. Ta-da! Isn't she looking great? So this is the Dark Queen of the Seas by Autumn Lane Stitchery. I am stitching her on the kit fabric, which is a 28 count Bewitched by Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, that's Leslie LaFleur. And so I had the trident and this coral done last time. I keep wanting to say kelp. Kelp's on the other side. And then I've just been working on this month. So kind of like starting like right around here. So I've done like all of this right here. Yeah, all of that. Um, so I have a good bit left to go. But the goal is by July 1st to be caught up with May and June. So we'll see. Maybe I'll make it. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll be in stitchy jail. No, no such thing. All right, so there we are. And really, she's almost done. We've got the July release that I would uh, assume, even though I hate to use that word, um, 
would be the other side of her tentacles. And then August, uh, Cassandra and Aaron have said that August is going to be like the beads, specialty, fiber, sloth, floss stuff, fancy stuff to finish her up. So that's where we are with her, Dark Queen of the Seas. I've really enjoyed stitching on her. Um, she's huge. She's huge. I don't know what I'm going to do with her. Um, I really don't. And I'm doing this all backwards this 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 day and Fawn is just gonna get all over my case from Sanctum Stitching Fawn and Marianne if I don't, you know, put them in the place where they're supposed to normally go. So here we go, flinging it back behind, chucking it just like normal. All right, my next stitch along is the Christmas wreath by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. This one has been super fun to stitch. Um, so last time, I'm gonna show you this, but I haven't done anything since the last time you saw it on Floss 2 because I finished this portion here and then the, the next release that came out was the part with Mrs. Claus and a new release comes out this Friday. So my focus for the week, shoop, have that done by Friday. So at least I can be back on track with that one again. I feel like that's very doable because I have a pretty busy work day tomorrow, but other than that, I'm not super busy this week with work. So, there we are. That's not the back this time. This will be the correct <laughs> side that I'm showing you. But you'll see. I love this. This is so great. So, this is a Christmas, Christmas wreath by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I'm stitching this on kit fabric, which is a 28 count um, linen um, picture this plus in the color Heartland. It is going to be a complete wreath when we're done and we are going to be making this into a pillow. I already have the fabric to finish the back of it, which next month I'll have to remember to bring that out so you guys can take a peek at it and see what you think. My aunt um, in Oregon is actually going to finish this for me into a pillow because I don't sew. I don't have a sewing machine. I don't do all the stuff yet, so she's going to help me out with that. The third stitch along that I've been doing has been the Stitching Book Club, and that is um, Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts. Kristen, she does it, and you'll find her on Instagram at the Stitching Book Club. So this year, we are doing Sense and Sensibility, Little Women, The Great Gatsby, and the end of the year is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. So we've already finished Sense and Sensibility, and The Little Women uh, pattern just dropped this weekend. I have not started it yet. Um, it is. It will be in my plan section. I did buy the kit for that, and um, you'll see some more of that next time. So that's kind of where I am on the monthly portion stitch alongs. Kind of what I got going on. All right. So in May, um, I, along with a lot of other fabulous stitchers and Mary Ashcraft, we did Owl Forest Mania, where I started a new Owl Forest piece every week, like every Monday of every week. And I showed you some of those last time. Um, I showed you Bayoon Cat and Strawberry Summer. And I didn't show you uh, the Little Humpback Horse. Yep, um, so we'll see that one. Um, I didn't do a start on the 31st of May. I'm missing one. Which one am I missing? Oh, Hedgehog Meadow. So I did Bayoon Cat, Hedgehog Meadow, Strawberry Summer, and the Little Humpback Horse. I only did four of them for those four Mondays. I was traveling on the road on that last Monday, which was Memorial Day, so I didn't start one that day. So let me just show you. I got a little bit further on um, Strawberry Summer than the last time I showed you. The last time I showed you, like, I had literally just started it the night before, and so I just had one little, like, a berry was in there. You know, so I had started it, but I really hadn't worked on it. I did get some work on it that week that um, I was going to be working on it. So let me show you that now. Uh, let's see. Which direction am I going? Sorry. Make sure I'm going the right way. Okay. This is the way it goes. All right. So this actually I purchased as a kit from Owl Forest Embroidery. That is um, a company in Russia. Um, the kit was really nice. It came with a nice big pattern, the linen, needle minder, needle, and all their beautiful floss. And there, it really is beautiful floss. But this is where I got. And this is on a 32 count using the Owl Forest floss. I think it's really cute. It's really nice. I like I like the strawberries. Um, let me show you just in case. Excuse the zip, folks. Peoples. Okay. There's the floss. I mean, and that's a little ragtag mess, but you get the idea, right? Like the colors are 
really pretty. This is gonna be really cute. I think it's gonna be really cute to go in the kitchen or something like that when I'm done. Nice little summery piece, so yeah. All right, so the other Owl Forest embroidery piece that I'm gonna be showing you is the little humpbacked horse. I bought this as a kit also. This one, I really like this one. Um, I like this I like this whale over here. And what are these two horses doing? And I, I don't know. I don't really know the story. I did, I talked about this last time a little bit. I did try to research like the fairy tale itself and I couldn't just find like a synopsis, just a little breakdown of this fairy tale so I could kind of get the idea of what some of these elements are. Um, there was a book for like 15 or $16 on Amazon that I might just buy just because I'd like to know what I'm stitching about. <laughs> what am I stitching here? Um, it was made into a ballet and it was kind of outlawed for a while because it, um, the story apparently pokes fun at nobility. I wouldn't know that because I haven't read the story yet, but um, yeah, isn't that cool? And it was a really nice kit too. Um, I started this while I was at the beach and I did not get much done to be honest. Um, so a lot of counting and I just wasn't feeling it right then. Just, you know, so this is where I am. I'm just kind of on that in the middle piece. That's the needle minder that came with it. And this is on the kit fabric, which is 32 count. I have a lot to go on that one. I'll probably will finish some of the other ones that I've made some more progress on like Bayou and Cat and um, Hedgehog Meadow and even the strawberries before I kind of dig back into that one. And, um, definitely before I start any of the other new Owl Force, except for that, that Alice Stitch Along. I know maybe y'all have seen that out there. They have a free Stitch Along every year, and this one, it's Alice in Wonderland, and I did finally get my threads in the mail for those. I haven't picked the fabric out yet, and everybody's working on it, and I'm probably like three or four parts behind, but I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided when I'm going to start that one yet. Um, okay, let's see what's next. Oh, yeah. Mrs. Hen. Remember I told y'all I was bound and determined I was gonna be starting Mrs. Hen, and I did. Even though I didn't get to start her on Mother's Day, she was started in the month of May, so that still counts. Here's Mrs. Hen. Isn't she cute? She's another stitchy princess. That kerchief just kills me. Yeah, I love this one. She's, she's there, it's adorable, and it was fun to start. I started that while I was at the beach too. Let's see which way we go in here. See that little sun? Yeah, not a huge start, but just a little bit. And I love that stitch, that stitch needle minder that came from Lolly of Lollipop Stitches. Oh, isn't he cute? He's my favorite. And he's my spirit animal. <laughs> An alien is my spirit animal. I don't know what that says, but okay. Um, so I didn't get a whole lot done. I did start this on like a stone gray nougat. This is actually the little portion that I had left after um, I started Park Hopper Bart's Robin Hood sampler on the rest of it. I thought the colors would look good on it and I'm liking it so far. I think it's popping. So that's where I am on Mrs. Hen. Mrs. Hen is living in this super cute project bag from So Much to Love. This is one of our monthly bags. I can't remember which month it was. Just within the last couple months. Okay, here was another new start. I started this guy at the beach, Uncle Sam by Kathy Barrick. Yeah, I like this one. This one's a funky pattern. I don't have really any patriotic stitching and I thought, oh, I kind of like this funky one. So I started this one at the beach. This is the one I did work on the most at the beach that I actually took down to the sand with me. I didn't have any problems with any uh, water or mess or I kept the sunscreen off of it, but here we go. That's what I got done. I'm stitching this on, hmm. 32 count R and R Stars Hollow, and I'm using the called for DMC, which the with the exception of hit the blue, okay, the blue I decided to go on and use uh, Forbidden Fiber Co's Royal Blue. I really liked it and thought it added a little extra dimension. Yeah, that's where we are. <laughs> kind of a funky beard, isn't it? <laughs> it was fun. It was fun to stitch, though. It is fun to stitch. I would like to finish this one in July along with the rest of the Jolly July. But yeah, that's that's kind of my goals. Um, we are going up to Iowa to visit my mom um, and stepdad uh, in a couple weeks. We'll be up there for the fourth. So um, yeah, I would like to get him done while I'm in Iowa. 
so that's good. Oh, 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 and he lives in this really cute, really cute new uh, project bag I got from Cricklewood Crossing. Look at Snoopy. What's the, oh, they're just, oh, they're so cute. Yeah, I like this. Um, I love the Cricklewood Crossing bags. I can't turn around and show you because you can see the pattern too much on this, on what's inside these. Um, Jennifer, she makes fabulous bags and really like they're gone almost as soon as she posts them up. She makes really good needle minders too. I love the needle minders. Um, I do would like to mention that, um, keep Jennifer in your thoughts. Um, her dad recently passed away and, um, he was all the way down in Australia and she's all the way here in the US. So I know that's been extra tough on her. So if you um, just send good thoughts Jennifer's way, I know that could, um, she would really appreciate that. Uh, luckily she got to go to StitchCon this past weekend. So, um, you know, I think she was taking some time to kind of relax and, uh, you know, experience some happiness. Yeah. So anyway, Cricklewood Crossing, great bags, great needle minders. Make sure to check them out. They will be linked in my description box below. Okay, so let's see. Unicorn Tapestry. Unicorn Tapestry has been on my whip go and um, I've been on a little bit of a whip go hiatus. For those of you that don't know what whip go is, whip go is something that Jessie Marie of Jessie Marie Does Stuff came up with. It's kind of like a bingo game and in the beginning of the year, like on a bingo board, you plug in projects, you set goals for yourself every month. Jessie Marie calls two of your squares and that like puts you in the direction of what you're gonna be working on this month. You can have monthly goals, you can have annual goals. Um, because I did Owl Force Mania in May, I didn't complete any of my whip go goals and actually one of the things that was called I'm replacing it with something else so I have, didn't work on that at all um but one of the months um unicorn tapestry which is my oldest whip which will be having a birthday at the end of this month um was in my you know, on my board. And I did get a lot of it done, not all of it. So I decided seeing as how this is my oldest whip and I still needed to put in some time on it for whip go, I would turn this into my 25 seven challenge piece. Um, if you haven't heard of the 25 seven challenge, that is something that um, Julie McConnell of Reflections Framing and Stitching, she um, came up with this challenge. And basically it's like, you know, do 25 stitches on a project seven days a week or work on it 25 minutes, seven days a week. The thing is to touch it seven days a week. So on my first week, which I started beginning of June, maybe my first week, maybe into my second week. I don't know, whatever, I was already making stuff up. Like, oh no, I didn't stitch on that yesterday. So now I have to stitch on it for an hour instead of 25 minutes or 50 minutes or whatever. So uh, I do understand that's really not how that's supposed to work, but that's how it was working for me. So. Um, you know, progress, not perfection. So um, every week I'm just working on this and I'm trying to make this my 25 seven piece. So um, here we go, I'll show you. I got some stuff done. Oh yeah, she's see through, hold on a second. Okay, there we go. I actually got a unicorn on the unicorn tapestry end. So this is unicorn tapestry by the Tiny Modernist. I am stitching this on to look every time 28 count Riviera Aqua by Zweigert so I kind of just did this unicorn and maybe some of that tree or yeah I don't know I was in this general area but I mean you know 25 minutes a day that kind of that added up because I had none of that last time so feeling pretty good about that um like I said this is my oldest whip and I'm going to continue on this 25 7 path until this bad boy is done um I don't have anybody to share the stitching with. Fawn at Sanctum Stitching is sharing stitching this with her husband, Sean, and I'm sure they'll have it knocked out in no time, but I am doing this on my lonesome. I wish my husband would uh, stitch on this some with me. Talking to you, husband. Anyway, <laughs> yep, yeah, so I like it. It's really pretty. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I'm done. Maybe a pillow. We'll see, we'll see. But that is my oldest whip because, um, I'll have been stitching a year this month. Yeah, a year. Pretty good. Um, so last time, last floss tube, one of the lovely people that watched my floss tube and everything's fallen, see, hold up. Oh, okay. Um, one of the lovely people that watches my floss tube, 
care. She mentioned in a comment, uh, was I going to cross stitch camp? And I'm like, what's cross stitch camp? So I had to go investigate. So yes, I am at cross stitch camp this summer. Um, cross stitch camp is being hosted by the Colorado Stitcher. I will put all of the information below. If you go to her floss tube, um, the Colorado Stitcher floss tube number 12, almost pretty much the beginning of the floss tube, she explains everything about cross stitch camp. And basically you're gonna pick a project the first of the month, you're going to have a project the first of month, June, July, August. And the thing is, you start and complete the project within that month. And there's directions about taking a picture and posting the information on Instagram. And there are prizes involved and um, whatever. So I decided that, um, yeah, I wanted to go. I was trying to figure a way to fit in some Halloween stitching. And I'm like, well, you know, I have some smallish or medium size because God knows I wasn't going to start a large one for this, but, um, pieces for Halloween that I wanted, that I want to do. And so, Hey, why not? So I started with my June start starry night by Bothy threads. Isn't this cute? So I bought this as a kid on one, two, three stitch. Uh, it might've been on sale. I don't know. I had to buy a lot of floss, so I might have just made sure that the floss wasn't coming by itself. And, you know, nothing should travel alone, right? So, um, yeah, isn't this cute? I didn't realize how small it is. It is pretty small. Here we go. Yeah, so I know the back stitching is going to make a huge difference in this one. Huge. So let me see if I can hold both of them at the same time so you can kind of see where I am. So you see I've got a broom and I've got a... Is that right? No. Okay. <laughs> so you see, I've got a broom and I got a mouse and some ears and I got the body of the next mouse. So yeah, I mean, I'm making some good progress on this one and I'll have this one done. You do not have to have it FFO'd, which um, FFO means fully finished object. It just has to be finished. The stitching portion just has to be finished within the month. So that's been fun. I've Actually, it's been kind of hard, let's be honest, because it's really small and um, I'm, having, I'm stitching in hand and my hand always feels like it kind of wants to do some weird cramp up thing. And the back looks, the back looks freaking terrible. Uh, my stitches just look terrible. I don't know what I'm doing wrong stitching in hand, but uh, um, it's not, it's not quite as good for me as stitching in the Q-snap snap because my stitches just don't just not as, they're not as nice. They're not. And I'm having to kind of go like, like this and stitch and mm, it's cause it's so small. So I don't know if there's, I mean, the smallest Q snap I've ever seen is the six inch. I don't know if I could get some of those little teeny bars, those little bars and tack it in and make it a little easier. To I don't know if anybody has any ideas. I mean, I'm almost done with the thing, but I mean, this has kind of been hot mess express. At least when I'm doing a mill hill, the back doesn't look so great because it's kind of in the same situation, but I've been stitching those on perforated paper. So there's a little bit more like stability. So my stitches still look halfway decent. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. Um, you know, it's just a cute little happy Halloween piece. So it's not like gonna be some museum quality. I'm really struggling today with all this stuff falling behind me. Uh, it's not gonna be like a museum quality or anything. Obviously you saw the back. It's a nightmare. I don't even understand how it looks like that. So, okay. Um, the next thing I worked on this month. So, um, or since the last video, let me just put it like that. I worked on this since the last video because uh, Enchanted Stitching Challenge. Um, I do Enchanted Stitching Challenge. Um, that's a Facebook group and they choose a Disney movie every month and they give you prompts every week and you stitch to the prompts and then there's a watch party every month. Um, and so if you stitch on a Disney related piece, you get extra points, but if you stitch on any piece, you get points too. Uh, so May was kind of weird because they did Marvelous May, which was so fun. And Loki was causing all kinds of mischief. So instead of watching one movie, we had like six movies we could watch. And so I was watching a few like right there a couple days after I probably made my last video just to get some more time in, get some more points for my, um, oh my goodness. I belong to the Animal Kingdom team, so I was kind of just trying to, excuse me, help my team out a little bit. So I worked on this one, uh, The Mandalorian uh, by F Forbidden Fiber Co. This was a very cool box that um, they put together earlier this year, and um, I did some more work on it. it yeah, 
that's where we are. So this is the called for, uh, this is the kit fabric and the called for floss. And this needle minder is like a super fancy Jedi needle minder. But yeah, you can see, I mean, like this, <laughs> there's not a lot of thinking per se about doing this kind of, it's just a lot of stitches. So but I got some done and, and I like this fabric. It's a nice neutral, pretty. So um, it lives in, I think I showed y'all last time, my super cute Lila Styles uh, wedge bag. That's fabulous. I'll definitely be linking her website below because I have a few more to show you. Uh, her fabric choices are just really great. And they, they really easily fit this size of a pattern and they will fit my eight by eight Q snap. Uh, I was kind of talking to Sam, Sammy Liz about these and she was like, if it was a big pattern though, you know, kind of wasn't loving the idea of how small this was, but then we were thinking and I was like, you know, we could just make a copy. If we had a big chart, we could just make a working copy and keep it in there and keep our working copy wherever we keep the rest of our stuff, you know, or keep our nice copy wherever we keep the rest of our charts and it wouldn't get all banged up or anything. So just an idea, if you are interested, her bags are really nice, really well made. The fabric is really pretty. All right, let's see. I had another new start. I did have quite a few new starts again. Um, I started a piece for Carrie of the Three Trail Stitchers. Go watch them if you're not watching them. They're so fun. I love their floss tube. It's Carrie, Sarah, their sisters, and they're librarians at schools, and their cousin Whitney. I love them. They're great. They have a great projects. They have a good media time afterwards that they talk about all the stuff they're watching and listening to. Um, so much fun. They also have um, Instagram, but I'll link their floss tube information below. But so for Carrie's birthday, um, she wanted to do a stitch along and um, she asked that it be something with like a quote that you liked on it or like she did a really cute uh, Calamity Jane piece that she's working on. And um, her sister Sarah started one as well. And I think it was Sarah's piece has got like um, all sorts of funny uh, young Frankenstein quotes on it. And so the piece that I chose to stitch on for um, Sarah's birthday, I mean, not Sarah, Carrie's birthday sale is this one, Things I Know For Certain by M. Kessa Creations. Let me kind of bring it in close here. It is um, from the movie Practical Magic. And it, it says, it's always, it's kind of hard to read. Um, so it says, always throw spilled salt over your left shoulder. Keep rosemary by your garden gate. Plant lavender for luck. And fall in love whenever you can. And uh, these, all of these ladies at the end, these are like the aunts and the sisters and then the little sisters. And um, anyway, love it. I love this. I love this movie. It's, it's such a fun movie and one of my faves. But I started this. Um, Oh, kind of weird how this is, but I started this um, on um, a piece of fabric by Under the Sea Fabrics. It's called Melissius. I really like it. It's pretty. And I'm stitching this with um, Gloriana Silk. And it's called Purple Thistle. Oh, that was really pretty. And so, yeah, you know, it's kind of, the writing is staggered. And so that's why, like, you know, I have my cue snap here. So I don't have, like, everything written in here yet but yeah this is fun and you know words they go they go pretty fast um so i'm looking forward to um getting down to these witches which um m kissa i think her name's marissa yeah marissa uh she had commented on my instagram post and she was like these these witches are kind of a you know they they're there's a lot to them. That's a lot of stitching. And I, I can see that. So, um, but I'm so excited to get to them. I can't wait to do, get this project put up. I'm going to love hanging this one up. All right. Okay. Another thing I've been working on. Whips. I mean, like, did I even say I was heading into my whip portion of the program? Whip works in progress. So, another one of my whips is Hogwarts. Frogwarts year one band sampler. I did not attend the Frogwarts online retreat last year, but I am definitely attending the Frogwarts year two retreat this year. It is going to be so much fun. I am so excited. We have a Facebook group. Um, they put out a bunch of guides the other day. We have stitching challenges. We have a schedule where we're going to get to like, we know when we're going to be watching the movies and, and what we've got going on. And um, they have like a discord group where you can chat and 
so excited. I think I'm off work most of the time too. So, um, but I have been working on this uh, a little bit, not a ton. And here's where we are. So, I um, think from the last time, I think last time you saw this, I probably had Wingardium Leviosa, the Jelly Birdie Bots Ever Flavored Beans, and Hedwig done. And so all I've really done is started working on Hagrid's umbrella here. Um, look at this super cute chocolate frog needle minder from um, when I ordered the pattern. And this is on the called for fabric. It is a 32 count picture this plus vellum. Um, my sweet friend, Mary Ashcraft, I talked to her about my little, I don't want to call it an ugly jelly bean because it kind of looks like the earwax jelly bean, right? Mm, but I was like, I know Carla Rolodex Stitcher, she had some cute floss for her jelly beans. And, and so Mary ordered some uh, cotton candy floss from Forbidden Fiber Co. She said she's going to send me some so I can have some cute jelly beans too. <laughs> so that's really sweet. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm looking forward to it because I don't want to do any more earwax or bogey. <laughs> bogey flavored ones uh uh stitched on here so um yeah i'll work on that some more when uh i get a minute oh more stuff's falling um it is living in excuse me uh my so much to love cat hair project bag that i ordered especially because see this yellow here i am a hufflepuff not slither hufflepuff yeah cute right so Anyway, I'm really looking forward to the retreat um, next month. Yeah, getting geared up, getting all my ducks in a row. I gotta sit down and figure everything out. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, okay, another one of my whips that I started, new start. I started this one on June 2nd. This is uh, uh, Miss Ladybug by Nora Corrett. Um, I talked at length last time about I'm stitching this one in memory of my husband's sweet, precious, Mama, um, who um, her birthday was on uh, June 2nd, and we miss her very much every day. And um, she was uh, she she was from Chicago, you know, we're down here in the South. And, and so some of the ways she said things or her terms of endearment were not what everybody else necessarily said. So she did uh, use Ladybug as a term of endearment. And I really, um, I was excited to start this one for Mama. Um, I chose, I know I talked at length about which um, fabric I was going to use, and I ended up going with the Dwarf instead of the Morris Blue, simply because even though I felt like the Morris Blue linen gave a more of a sunshiny appeal, which I was really looking for because uh, my husband's mama loved to sit out there and just bake in the sun. She would just get tan and just, I don't know, I think, you know, when you get older and you don't, you don't really... You stay cold, so even in this nasty Memphis heat wave, she would be happy out there. But um, the Morris blue, I think it was a better sunny blue, but there were a few colors that when I did a floss toss on them, they just didn't really work very well. So, um, I got, let's see, what direction does this need to be going? Oh, like this. So I got going on a, no, yeah. I got going on a wing. That was a lot of stitching on that little wing. Yeah, it's going to be cute. I already love all the shading and everything. I was so impressed with this little lacy looking edge. And um, yeah, this is going to be a fun project to keep working on. Oh, also, it is living in a fabulous project bag from Stitch in Peace with all of these vintage cocktails on it. Mama loved her whiskey sour, okay? And um, I think she would have appreciated this fabric. She would have liked it, I believe. So, yeah. That's just a coming along. Oh, let's see, what other whips did I have? Oh, yes, one I'm very excited about. Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. Started this the other weekend. Oh my, Winnie, Winnie. Shh, shh, shh. Winnie's having puppy dreams, sorry about that. Um, started this the other weekend with my sweet friends, um, Sam of Sammy Liz, Bobby of um, Pumpkin Creek Primitives um, Etsy Shop, and Floss Tube, et cetera, et cetera, and Leanne of Forbidden Fiber Company. We started this the other weekend and had a fun Zoom, and we actually have a hashtag, Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow, no, Halloween at HRH Sal. Yeah. I'll put it down below 
or here or somewhere in the description box. Um, we'll love for you if you're stitching this to follow along with us and share your progress with us. It would be so fun. Um, I have wanted to stitch this for a very long time and um, I was hoping that I wouldn't be disappointed in, you know, because sometimes you want to stitch something and then, you know, it's not as fun to stitch. Oh no, this one's fun to stitch. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's good. I found some great fabric great fabric. This is Heather by um, Picture This Plus in a 32 count. And this is block number one where I've got started on. I, I love that moon and the ghost. The bat's okay too. Yeah. Like this, I'm not a, so far I don't love doing houses. So that's probably been my least favorite part. But I mean, I've, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed this and this fabric I think is going to be really really good for this one and this is my cute um, needle minder from uh, Cricklewood Crossing yeah they're they're really nice um, I can kind of back up and show you like the sample piece that I saw of this fabric Heather was a lot more tan and a lot less purple but I got a pretty purpley bit and this thing's going to be gigantor like well it's not quite that long because I haven't cut it side to side, but it is really <laughs> that tall. But yeah, look, I mean, it's it's nice. It's it's gonna look good. I'm really excited about this one. And uh, I didn't really want to quit stitching on this one, actually. I could have just kept on and on and on, but I don't want Bobby to call me an overachiever. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> So anyway, I, I'm really enjoying this one. This is fun. And it was nice to actually talk to, um, my friends in real life and uh, visit a little bit. I mean, not obviously face to face in real life, but video real life, that was really nice. So I don't know why my face is itching everywhere. Excuse me. Okay. So I worked on that. I started that actually. And then my next bit was um, that same weekend was the Blackbird Designs Weekend Stitch Along, BBD Weekend SAL. Um, I say hello stitch along and the piece that I started that and this is uh, started by Brenda and Laura the serial starter floss tube group yeah couple best friends pair whatever they're lovely delightful um, if you're not watching them watch them um, I chose to do this piece which is called summer jubilee I really liked uh, the pink and um, the fabric which couldn't get my hands on that fabric but um, yeah, I thought it was really nice. It comes in this book, Souvenirs of Summer. There are multiple charts in this book that I would like to start. And in fact, I already have this one kitted up, this little fish. I'm thinking about doing that for my son. Um, I feel like it's one over one, so I, mm, I haven't just, I wanna finish this one first. <laughs> so this is where I got, I made some good progress. Yeah. So I think like, last time, last time you guys saw this, I think I was down to Q. I didn't have the star in or any any of this. So I was able to get a lot done. Um, finished up watching. Uh, we were watching the gloaming. I don't. I think that was on stars. We were finished up watching the gloaming while I was working on this. So um, yeah, I got a lot done, and I like it, and it's pretty, and I'm looking forward to actually. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one finish wise, but I like it a lot. It's pretty. Um, this is on a 32 count twilight blue. I think it's a witch ult. I mean, it can kind of like stand on its own. So <laughs> it's probably a witch ult. Yeah. Oh, excuse you, Winnie. All right. And then my last, no, not my last, almost my last, um, the next whip. This is my birthday stitch. So on the 8th of every month, I stitch on my birthday stitch. Um, it just so happens that it is the Nutcracker by RITM. I know I say it every time, but when I see this, it makes me smile. I love, I love this one. Um, I've also was so fortunate. Um, Michelle Bendy did a Quaker Zoom for her Halloween Quaker. And when she finished her Halloween Quaker, she turned the Zoom into like any kind of Quaker. So I jumped on the bandwagon for that one. And um, I actually got to stitch on this um, during our Zoom. I didn't get to do it on the second get together she had because we were at the beach, so that didn't work. Um, but next time she has another one, I'll be jumping on too and working on this some more. So I worked on this some during the Zoom and then um, we just had the eighth, right? So I worked on that too. And I didn't want to put this one down either. 
because I got a page finish. So I finished, I finished page number two. Oh, this is hard to hold up like that. Hold on a minute. Let's see. Um, okay. So this is page one and page two and I am done with that. And aren't they, isn't it beautiful? This huge, this, oh, I just wanted to get it finished at one point because I was like, this is driving me insane. But um, yeah, I got it done. I loved stitching these flowers with these, the leaves and the vines. I loved that one. So um, yeah, this is page one and two. There are 12 pages. My birthday's in December. I better get on it, right? <laughs> no more uh, sitting around for this one because I would like to finish this um, by my birthday so I could start something new for my birthday. Okay, so um, this is the Nutcracker by RITM. I'm stitching this on um, 32 count picture this plus Tyco, and I'm using all the called for DMC. And I love it, love it, love it. Okay, and then my last whip Happy Haunts. Happy Haunts by Good Morning Maui. So I stitch on this um, on the 13th of every month, which was yesterday for Dark 13 stitching. And I also use it for my Enchanted Stitching Challenges most of the time. Now I'm kind of going back between forth between this one and Mandalorian for um, movie watching because it's a Disney piece. This is um, characters and the song from the Haunted Mansion and it's fabulous. And I, so I had this row done and then yesterday I finished this row. Let me show you where we are. Oh, yeah. It's so good. It's so good. Last time, I think you saw it, um, I had finished the little graveyard caretaker with the shovel and the skinny dog. <laughs> and um, yesterday, I finished up that tree and those tombstones and the words underneath that said the grim, grin, grim grinning ghosts come out to socialize but yeah I love this I love this it's so good I love it so anyway that's where I am on that and I'm, I'm really happy with that and I'm looking forward to hanging that up for um every Halloween because oh my gosh whenever I can get back to Disney World I can't wait to ride that ride um okay let's see so that pretty much that was all of my whips Sorry. So let's talk about plans. Let's go over a ridiculous amount of haul because to be fair, I've almost, mm, yeah, it's almost been another month and I've done weird things like, I mean, not weird things, but like I'm working on my Jolly July plans. Um, you know, trying to decide what I'm going to do for that. I'm pretty sure I have enough. Um, no, I'm totally sure. <laughs> I have enough Christmas pieces either started or kitted that I'm not going to really be having, you know, to, I'm not going to be adding something new to me, like come in the mail and work on. Um, I mean, some of them will be new because I haven't stitched on them yet, but I want to make sure I had all of them kitted up. So like I was doing crazy things like, you know, floss, trying to figure out what I had to order and what I already had in my, my master's, um, supply. Uh, luckily, I do use the X Stitch app. If you guys have never heard of that, um, I know it's on iPhone because I have iPhone, but it's like X Stitch app. Um, it is a paid for app. I think you have to pay for it every year and it lets you keep an inventory of your charts, your linens, your floss. Um, it has like a journal function where you can put like what you have kitted, what you have started, what you have finished. Um, you can excuse me, add pictures as you go. Um, I really have found it very helpful for, um, in particular, my floss. Like if I have something in my main supply, I can just like flip through and be like, there's a note function where you can write like, oh, I have three skeins of that. Or, you know, one of those is in, you know, haunt, Happy Haunts and one is in Nutcracker. And oh, I've got one left. So that means I have one available, you know. Um, however you choose to work it, um, I have found it very, very helpful. Love it, great app. Um, and I actually have reached out to the app creator um, just because I wanted, um, there was 
Uh, so Leanne from Forbidden Fiber Co. Uh, she is listed in there under like charts, um, but she's not like an option, like a default option for me to pick for like floss and fabric. And since I've been getting so many of her kits and um, I'm having to put them under like custom. So I just emailed them and asked them when they did an update, if they could consider adding her to um, the floss and like linen part of the app um, and super responsive, super friendly and nice. And was just like, thanks for the suggestion, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So um, yeah, if you have, if you use that app and you ask, you want them to change or update or have a suggestion for them, just reach out because they're really nice. Anyway. Okay. Let's see. Um, plans. Let's talk about some plans. So hmm, plan number one is within the next few weeks, since I have been stitching about a year now, um, I want to do a whip parade. I've never done a whip parade. I didn't start my channel with a whip parade, even though that would have been a great idea. I didn't. So um, I want to do a whip parade. I'm we're like halfway through the year now and it has actually been one year of me stitching. So yeah, I think I'm going to be doing that kind of like as an extra in the next couple weeks. That's what I'm thinking about. Um, so I need to watch some whip braids and see if there's like a, any rules to doing whip braids. And I mean, I've, I've watched them obviously, but not with the intention of like, how does everybody kind of manage their whip braids? So um, I need to do that. And I'm going to get Dark Queen caught up and get my wreath caught up. Finish with my Jolly in July plans. And um, I did order a bunch of floss, uh, or I did get a bunch of floss and then I have stuff in my main supply so I kind of need to um, if I have like the stuff that I got in with the fabric and the chart in my bag ready to go then I need to go pull for my my um, main supply and um, finish kitting those up totally so I'm ready to go for Jolly in July and oh um, I know I showed the pattern last time. I do not have it up here with me to show this time, but I ordered, if you'll go back to watch my last floss tube, or if you just want to go to Bobby's Etsy store, Pumpkin Creek Prim, um, there is a labyrinth chart that I got and it's really cute and it has like a lot of the characters from labyrinth in it. And I'm going to be doing a stitch along with um, Carrie from Three Trail Stitchers and Bobby of Pumpkin Creek Prim. We're going to stitch that. Um, Carrie's actually down in Disney right now. So um, probably sometime after she gets back, no huge rush. Um, we're going to start that. I don't have a hashtag or anything exactly set up for that yet. And I don't believe we're going to have any like rules. Like you have to get so much done by a certain time. It's just going to be kind of a, you know, stitch along, use our hashtag, share your progress. It's fun, you know? Um, but I know that Bobby at Pumpkin Creek Prim, she did tell me that she had gotten some more of those charts and she sold out of them. And so she has this, have some more in on the shop if you need to get one or you'd like to join us because we'd love to have you. Um, so I kind of got that going and, oh, I'll show you this. So, while I was doing the um, Quaker Zoom Sal with Michelle Bendy, there was a lot of really great people on there and um, met some new people that I'd never talked to or heard of before and their floss tubes um, like um, Stitcher Mill. I didn't know her. She's so nice. And um, she has recently rejuvenated her floss tube. So go check her out. But um, I had in my... I had recently gotten, which I talked about last time, um, a piece of fabric from Fox and Rabbit. I got that at my um, LNS here in Memphis, Stitchers, and it was ballet slippers. And um, actually, Karen of um, that is Fox and Rabbit and Blackberry Rabbit and Linens and Threads. Yeah, and her husband, um, which they just started a floss tube too. So go check them out. Uh, I think it just says Flax and Rabbit. I'll put it below. But anyway, she was on our Zoom sale. And I was telling her, I was like, I just have to tell you how much I, I love this fabric. I haven't stitched on it yet, but it's beautiful. And she's like, oh, what are you going to stitch on it? And I was like, I don't know. And she's like, you need to stitch Tom's Foolery on it. And I'm like, oh, I really wanted to stitch that because I saw Annie Joyfield stitcher. She had it and I thought it was so cute. And um, I've never stitched a hands across the sea sampler before and um this one looked like a lot of fun and i i just look at it yeah so karen was like yeah um and come join our facebook group because there's a facebook group so i went online and got my pdf of uh tom's foolery and uh kitted it up and i'm gonna be starting that soon i really wanted to have this started but i just haven't got it started yet and i need to get all my my dmc all 
thread dropped and everything like that. And um, this is the ballet slippers I'm going to be uh, stitching it on. So cute. And it is living in my, um, you haven't seen this one yet, May So Much to Love project bag. That is so cute, right? And um, that was kind of fun because this May So Much to Love, I thought that this came in the project bag. And it's one of those little Riley Blake, um, this little magnetic box and it came with scissors. Oh, isn't that cute? Love it, love it. So I'm gonna be starting that. So consider that plans, all, et cetera, et cetera. It's totally enabled or inspired by Karen to get this going. So I'm super excited about it. So that's that's up and coming. Um, let me see if I can show you anything on this little women kit that I got. Yeah, this is all I can really show you because I did get the email of the pattern this weekend, but um, I think it really much pretty much shows the chart. But so basically we got a little booklet and some nice even weave and floss. Yeah, so I'll get started on that Little Women too. I am gonna purchase, if you have to buy it, um, Little Women on Audible and listen to that while I stitch it, just like I did with Sense and Sensibility because that was so much fun. Let's see. Oh, yes. Let me show you this one. So, the other thing I'm going to be starting on top of the Jolly July and all that good stuff is the Disney Dogs Stitch Along. Okay, and this is by Abby. Where did we go? Oh, please. Oh, Abby. Um, Happy Sue Designs. She does all these cool characters where she does, you can find her on Etsy, um, where she does like, uh, well, kind of like my bag. Um, she'll do like a Disney design, but they don't really have, they don't have a face. And isn't this a cool bag? This is another Lila Styles bag. Yeah, I love this one. Okay, so that's why um, her Disney dogs is living in the Lila Styles. And I'll show you. This is what's gonna be, Dogs at Disney. So two have already been released, Stitch and Lady from Lady and the Tramp. I have not stitched those yet. There is a Facebook group for this and there is a hashtag. I got some super cute rainbow paw print fabric from Fabric Flare that I'm gonna be stitching this on, yes. And there was an exclusive needle minder from Fangirl Fibers for this stitch along that says life is better with a dog. I mean, you can just go to Fangirl Fibers and order this, but isn't that cute? Yes, I love it. So I'm excited to be starting on that. That would be cute. All right. I think those are all of the things that I have that I was gonna be, yeah. I'm not really gonna be starting anything else. Um, I wanna go over a little bit of this haul that I got. Of course, a lot of it was like, Floss and you know stuff for getting stuff going, but also you know it's been another month so, and I had some stuff that I was waiting on for a very long time to come in. Like let's just talk about my Owl Forest. So I ordered this. They took about three months, and I really thought they were lost. Okay, y'all, but um they they weren't. They just. I don't know where they were sitting for that long, but they were sitting somewhere a very long time. In fact, I got like all of my other orders after these. So I, 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 my orders that I ordered after these, I got them way before I got these. But anyway, first one, Enchanted Forest. Yay, isn't it beautiful? It's a kit, so it's got the fabric, it's got a needle minder, it's got a needle, and it's got a big, huge pattern in there. And this floss is just, gorgeous ah, nice fabric kind of a neutral sorry about the glare um, cute little needle minder I can't really see that can you yeah anyway gigantor gigantor uh, pattern which I love so much fun and the other thing that I ordered at the same time as I'd ordered enchanted forest was Charmful Meadow. I love this one too. Kind of a, the heck? One of my items just 
popped off the side of my basket. <laughs> it's kind of strange. It's really strange because it was a magnet. Okay. Um, but anyway, this is at Charmful Meadow. I love this too. Gosh, I cannot wait to do these birds up here. I love it. Love it. So that was my kind of owl forest haul. I actually, that's not true because also came in my colorful floss for the Alice Stitch Along by um, Owl Forest Embroidery. That's the free stitch along. I still need to find some fabric. It is going to live into this beautiful Alice in Wonderland bag. Look at this. Isn't that a cute bunny with the tie, a white rabbit, sorry. Um, love it. This is from Cricklewood Crossing. Aren't they adorable? I love them and my nails look terrible. Oops, sorry. Okay, what else did I get? probably to accompany some of the floss that I ordered. I ordered a really fun Christmas pattern that I haven't seen before. Um, I love the Tempting Tangles designs. And look at this one, y'all. Uh, do you see those reindeer? They've got little stockings. I think it's so cute. I can't wait to do this one. This one's gonna be fun. I love their designs. And I've also never ordered anything, I mean, stitched anything from Tellin Emblem before. Wow, I love that. It's amazing and I don't know they come with this little little brass emblem that you sew to your piece when you're done this is beautiful though this one's called bloom and bugs Vinca. yeah and this is uh, sorry this one is North Pole welcome so cute so looking forward to doing those um, I made an order placed an order oh yeah <sighs> I placed an order with Garan Stitchery. I love them. They had their bag sale, right? And they were doing states. So I had to get Tennessee because I'm in Tennessee, right? So isn't this nice? I can't wait to use it. Ooh, Bill Street, Snow Memphis. So yeah, I got that. And then in order to, to I got one of these little ones. Um, okay, this is a funny story. Uh, so these bags go really fast. If you've never been involved in one of these Garon tote bag sales before, like you have to get on there when they say that they're gonna open the sales up and, and put them in your cart and go. And so I was wanting one of these mini sizes because I want it to hold my Mill Hills for Mill Hill Monday. And so like, I'm going through these like crazy. I wanted the book one, I wanted some other one. Oh, I think I wanted something with like, I don't know if it was dragonflies or lily pads or whatever. No, I didn't get them, I didn't get them. I get them. kept getting out of my cart, out of my cart, because somebody else was buying them. So I got the dolphins, which I like the dolphins, they're fine. This is cute, I love this size. But here comes a funny story. So um, Garon Stitchery is part of my whole Mirabilia incident that I referred to last video, where you know, I had to get the Mirabilia stuff. Um, so yeah, let me just show what I'm talking about when I'm talking about it so that you guys know, you can understand um, where I'm coming from. Okay, so I, I looked at the website before the bag sale started, and I put a few things in my cart that I had been, that I had been wanting. Um, and so I was checking out, and you know, you're just busy checking out because you don't want to lose the bag again, right? So I'm just going, 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 check out, check, pay, pay, blah, 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 blah. And then I noticed that one of the things I really wanted wasn't in my cart anymore. And this is her. And it was a kit, and it was Mirabilia's Thanksgiving Harvest Fairy. And, and she's beautiful. And I love Thanksgiving, and I had to have her, and I'd never, I'd never seen her before. I had seen, you know, the Halloween, the Easter, the Christmas. Um, I have the New Year's. I saw a picture somewhere of the Valentine's one, even though I haven't seen it for sale anywhere. And I had never even seen a picture of this one, and I had to have it, and I was like, like, I felt like, a kid with their toy taken away when it was all of a sudden out of my cart. And so um, I messaged um, Gary on the Facebook and I really didn't expect to hear back from them. I mean, they are like insanely busy on those bag sale days, packing everything up, um, both Gary and Ronnie, they're just, you know, they're trying to get everybody's orders out and take care of business. And I didn't expect to hear back from them. And Ronnie was like, hey, um, you know, basically like we're packing up, but I'm gonna let, I think I'm gonna let Gary know about it. And we'll get back to you, you know, like really nice, fast reply. And I'm like, wow, okay. And then um, Gary's like, okay, well, yeah, they're, um, 
they're really hard to um, come by, they, or they can be hard to come by basically. And I think I have one left and I'll put it up right now if you want it. So he put it up right then. And then I'm like, yeah, phew, went to the store and got it. So the story gets even more interesting because um, I was watching my friend Mary, Mary Ashcraft. If you're not watching her, you should watch her. And she was showing off her Thanksgiving harvest fairy. And I texted her immediately and I was like, oh, I have her too. And I'm so excited. And I got her from Garon Stitchery and da 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 da. And I'm like, and then she's like, you, you took mine. I'm like, what? No, I didn't. She's like, I had it and then it was gone. And I'm like, no, I had it and then it was gone. So if you're out there and you have it, you have the one that was on there before I got mine and she ended up getting hers someplace else. I would love to know who you are <laughs> just because. Um, anyway, so Mary and I are going to be starting this together in September. We decided because, you know, um, we definitely uh, both were just fell head over heels for this one, you know, and um, yeah. So um, also, you know, reach out to your people that you're buying things from or the designers or, you know, I mean, I could have just let it go, but I thought, well, it was worth it. It was worth a shot reaching out to Gary and Ronnie and seeing, do you guys have any more of these? Because I had to do the same thing because, you know, I was the Dodo who didn't buy the, um, did I show you that last time? The Dodo who didn't buy the embellishment pack when she bought the Snow Queen. Yeah, that was me. Whatever, I had to reach out to them to get that too because I'm like, do you have any more of those? They luckily had one. So anyway, yeah. So um, and so this sparks what we're going to be terming the Mirabilia incident. Okay. And good thing. Um, oh my gosh, I'm having a complete brain fart. She stitches the beautiful Mirabilia's and she did the Mira May and is it something by Floss, Cross by Floss? Oh my gosh, I love her. Um, she's going to be doing Mira Mondays and I'm, I'm going to be joining her so because I have plenty now. <laughs> anyway, so this is this is the Mirabilia Incident Haul. Okay, so also while I was on Garon Stitchery website, I saw this beautiful um, Moonflower. Isn't she so pretty? I love her. I love her. And I did order a Moonflowers embellishment pack. Yes. She's gonna be beautiful to start. Oh yeah, this is the Snow Queen embellishment pack that I slept on and then I freaked out about because I was like, can I can I please get this somewhere? Yeah, so I was able to get it. Oh my gosh, some of these, whenever I do start this, which we don't really, this year was an anomaly because we don't really have snow days in Memphis. Not legit ones anyway, but like, oh, some of these. Look at these. Um, uh, hold on, let me find something because I want you to see how pretty, how pretty these jewels are. Oh, anyway, I'm excited about that. Okay, so what else did I get from them? Um, that might have been it from them. Okay. But not, not the end of the Mirabilia incident because, let me find it. Got a few more. I talked about them last time, I just didn't have them in yet. Easter Fairy, that kit. I got that from 123 Stitch. Got all of the um, over dies. And because of the situation with my New Year's Fairy and that pretty fabric that Rocio turned me on to, um, I went on and ordered some of this with the sparkles in it. For, for my Easter fairy too. So I didn't do that for my Thanksgiving fairy and I'm not sure that I'm going to. Um, I'm not sure if I want that look for her. And then, oh, isn't she beautiful? That's June's pearl fairy. I do not have anything kitted up for her yet at all. I don't have any fabric or beads or floss or anything like that, but I have her. So this is the one both my kids are Gemini's. So this is the one that um, I'm gonna do. Makes me think of my kiddos. All right, just a few more things here. Um, so I've already shown you most of my Lila Styles uh, bags that I've gotten, but this is probably my favorite. Here we go. It's a Hogwarts. It's a Weasley's Joke Shop. It's 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 everything. I, look, it's a Quidditch field back there. I don't know. It's wonderful. Oh, look at the dragon over the bank. 
uh, Gringotts. Yeah, this is amazing. And the train. And so this is the bag that I was talking about that Fawn and I both have Sanctum Stitching. We both ordered this one. Um, this is going to be housing our Frog Warts Year 2 um, pattern and stitching. And I love this bag so much. It, the the fabric is amazing. The colors are amazing. I could look at it for hours, maybe not hours, but you know what I mean? I mean, like it's, it's really good. It's really good. So Lila Styles, she will be linked in the description box below. Box below. Great. I think I have a few more coming from her. Um, still, she doesn't have the labyrinth fabric back in stock yet that I really want for that labyrinth project, but you know, she had some other things that were really cute that I liked. Okay. A few more things. Almost done. Um, let's see. Oh, this is my, uh, this was a Pumpkin Creek Primitive order that I had. I talked about this last time, about stitching this for my son. This is Opening Gambit by Long Dog Samplers. I'm going to be stitching this for him for his graduation piece. And I said, oh, I'm just going to do this with some black silk on a neutral fabric. And then the kid threw me a real curveball because he said, you know, I said, what do you think? You like it? You know, because I wanted to make sure he liked it before I spent all that time stitching it. And he was like, yeah, but... I think I'd like it to be red. <laughs> okay. So, um, I need to get some red silk. And then somewhere I saw maybe a red and black combo. And that, so if you have any reds that you think would look really good or red and black combos, um, that you'd like to suggest, I would just like to buy a hank of silk and just work off of that. Um, let me know in the description box below. I would appreciate, um, any ideas because I've got to go on a hunt for that. Um, my friends did find some good ones, I think, but I haven't gone past running them by my son and um, really seeing how I could source those. So if you have some good ones, hey, let me know. I appreciate it. Um, what else did I order? Well, you know, I love this one too. Do you remember this little call the doctor, call the nurse, call the lady with the alligator purse? Do you remember that? I, I remember that when I was a kid. Anyway, I thought that was cute. That's a little Lucy Beam chart. I like it. And then... Just for funsies, I got some fiberless, fiberlicious Christmas wishes. I don't know what I'm gonna stitch with it. Something Christmassy. I'm sure I could do like an ornament or something. Yeah, something cute with it. Okay. Um, anything else? Let me see. This is oh, that's cardboards. Oh yeah, I do want to show you these. And this. Okay, almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Um, so Fawn, you know, she said I enabled her about getting these Lila Styles bags. And then she enabled me because she turned me on to this Share the Joy, Lit Joy, Create little bag that she got. Um, see this little pouch? Isn't it cute? Goes to Mr. and Mrs. Dursley. Do you remember when Molly Weasley put all the stamps all over her letter? So cute. Um, I don't know. I, you know, it'll be good for stuff. Kind of small for a project, but maybe not like an ornament size project. But isn't that cute? I'll put this information below. But here's the cool thing. Remember how last time I talked about I was buying pins and I'm turning them into needle minders? Yeah. This place, the Lit Joy Crate, they have pins. They have good pins. Let's see. Here's one of the Shire. Yep. Here's one of Neverland. So this is from Peter Pan. And then, what's this one? Oh, Weasley's Wizard Wheezes opening day. So, um, I don't know if that's not focusing very well on that. Anyway, I can't wait to turn these into we don't minders. Can't wait. So, yep, Fawn, you enabled me as well. I got my goodies. Um, a while back I was talking about I do have all of the Ink Circles Rabbit Rabbits through June. So I have January, February, March, April, May, June. And I did my um LNS did order the little finishing kits for me. So um, I'm gonna have to be uh leaning on my aunt Susan to help me finish these because they're great. They're like little fabrics and ribbons and charms and pom-pom from Lady Dot and lovely. 
So I'm looking forward to doing those or having those done at some point. I've got to get all my fabric together for that first though. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. So that was plenty, right? And it included a Mirabilia incident. So I'm so excited about to have those things and, um, you know, finish those fairies that I'm working on first and to start that fairy in September with Mary. Um, so yeah, yeah, a lot of stuff. It's been a busy month and I've done a lot of stitching and a lot of not stitching and I still feel like I accomplished a good bit. Um, I'm mostly just behind on those stitch alongs. And like I said before, Sarah's going to do like one of those next year where she really has to keep up with them. That's what I think I'm going to do. We'll see, right? So anyway, um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for taking the time to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. I love to read your comments and um, hope that I get back to you in a timely manner. Sometimes I can't see them all on YouTube. And so I try to, you know, go through them and make sure I'm not missing anybody because I would hate to not, I would hate to miss someone because I, I know it takes time to do that. I watch a lot of floss tube on my TV um, and um, not so much on my phone. So I actually have to go to my phone to comment or like. Um, and so I, I know it takes some effort. So I do appreciate it and I do enjoy this. And thank you for letting me talk your ear off for what an hour and 20 minutes. Um, wow. And um, maybe I'll be back in two weeks. Maybe it'll be more like three weeks. Um, we'll see how it goes. But um, thanks so much for watching. Have a great summer and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.